Hey guys, we keep trying this over and over again. We're newbies to this. We put the phone one way and it says you can't record this way and then we put it another way and I'm in there sideways. So now we're checking to see if I'm coming in up and down where I should be. Hey, Shelly. I think you're good now. I think. I, th I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're new to these live videos. Um, everything that I've been looking at to do live videos says that your phone should be going like this. And so we put the camera in the tripod like that. Well, then we try to start these live videos and uh, I get a message that comes up on the screen that says I need to turn my phone. So we turn, usually we turn the phone over and everything comes out okay. Now we're going up and down like this, um, which I've never done a live like that before. Um, I think we'll still be okay with it. Um, hi to everybody that's joining us. Thank you, thank you. Come on in. Um, today we're going to uh, paint some uh, socks, shoes, and leg stripes on a Raggedy Ann doll. Um, to try to let a couple more people get in here. Um, my name is Kelly. My business is Chestnut Junction, and we specialize in e patterns for primitive dolls, primitive crafts, and embroidery. Um, this is our live video. You know that uh, you are watching us live if you see a live button up in your corner of your screen. If you do not see that live button, you are watching us on replay and you can hit hashtag replay. Um, uh, if you do see that live button, we are live. You can interact with us, talk and chat, talk with other mem or other people that are here in chat. Uh, that's Chris, that's my husband. Um, <laughs> He's my little, he's my, oh, hi, I'm a, he's got me set up over there too. Um, he's my tech guy because I, I'm, I'm not tech savvy, nor do I want to be tech savvy. I, I don't like, I don't like techie things. Um, so yeah, we have Chris back there and I'm also one person, like I can't, I don't focus well too, on too many things at one time. So as long as I'm focusing on the video and he can handle the chat and if, if you know one of you guys asks a question um, that he doesn't think he can answer, he'll throw it over to me. Um, you know, we'll try to get your questions answered. Um, if you don't already like our page, we would appreciate it if you like our page. Um, we'd appreciate it if you would sprinkle this video and also invite any of your crafty friends um, who like to sew and make primitives, if you'd invite them to like our page. Um, before I get started today, we, we are having a, a pumpkin giveaway this evening. We're going to draw the names, uh, a name tonight at 7 PM. And that was for the primitive pumpkin that we made in one of the lives earlier this week. And I'm going to go ahead and show you, this is the prim primitive pumpkin we made earlier this week on a live. Um, if you scroll down our page there, um, I don't know, maybe three or four posts. Poss you okay back there? It's a cat. Um, the cat's, the cat doesn't do any, like, the cat is sleeping in a chair until we decide we're gonna come in here and do something. As soon as we start doing something, he's into everything in here. So if you see the cat coming through, it's, it's Luther, that's the black one. He's got a brother, his name is Otis, he's gray. But Otis is a good boy and he sleeps in the chair out there while we're trying to do this and doesn't bug us. But L Luther, yeah, he comes in here just to be a pain. Um, but about the pumpkin. Um, we're drawing tonight at seven. We're gonna go live tonight at seven to draw the name for the winner of that. So if you haven't already signed up for the, um, at, or for the giveaway for that, go down a couple um, posts here on our page and you will find a picture of the pumpkin and it says um, giveaway and 
it says uh, to write me in the comments. And when we see, you know, that you have written me down in the comments, we um, write your name down on a little slip of paper. We stick it in our little bucket to draw tonight, and then we will hit the like button, letting you know that uh, you're entered. Um, also, last week, last Sunday, we uh, went live and we made some Raggedy Ann doll bodies. Well, they were just doll bodies, but they turned into Raggedy Ann's. Um, I just wanted to show you that this is one of the um, this is one of the Raggedy Ann's that I did up from the doll body or doll bodies that we were doing uh, on last week's uh, live. She is, uh, I just listed her in my Etsy shop last night. Uh, only have one available of her. Um, she's in our Etsy shop. Uh, she's listed under the handmade section and that is www.etsy.com slash shop slash chestnut junction. Like I said, only one available. She's $29.99 and that includes her free shipping. And and um, I'm not taking orders. Um, I really, I, I don't have time to take orders on things. Um, so we got the pumpkin taken care of and we got the um, Raggedy Ann I showed you. Oh, I will show you too. The, the, there will be more Raggedy Ann's coming. I've got a couple more that need their dresses. So as soon as I get their dresses made, those uh, ladies will be going into my Etsy shop. So that should be happening within the next couple of days. But today we are going to focus on uh, another one of the doll bodies that we did last week. And uh, we are going to do her socks, her shoes, and her leg stripes. And I will go ahead and tell you, um, I'm going to be using my hair dryer um, during this live uh, to dry the paint to, you know, quicken up the process there. So um, just wanted to forewarn you that, you know, that's that'll take a minute or two here and there for me to dry paint. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. And I said hi to everybody who's joining us. We're glad you're here with us today. I'm Kelly. That's Chris back there. We are Chestnut Junction. Um, and we are going to be working on some Annie... Any socks, shoes, and leg stripes today. And I'm just going to start out with some white paint. And um, I'll tell you what, before I go to, um, I'm going to show you some paint brushes here. Okay. Now, these are paint brushes that I, I would use um, when I'm going to paint on these socks, shoes, and stripes. These are examples of brushes. I would not use um, your brushes or tools um, and if you don't have good tools you're not you're not going to get a good product I mean this is just you know that the edges are all uneven you know there's gaps in there so you don't want to use um, you just don't want to use yucky brushes um, to get a nice finish on stuff so I'm going to start out um, with this brush to paint the socks and I'm going to go ahead and bend you down here so we can get started on this. And I'm going to ask Chris back there if everything is in focus. Actually, you guys don't need to see the paint. Um, but you do need to see these doll feet. So I'm going to shake my paint up here. And here comes Kitty Boy. Yeah. All right. I'm just using this as deco art. But any white paint will work. And I use... This is... I found this at the thrift store. This is a... Um, it's just an old school tray. Um... Now the cat's trying to lay in my, my tray. It's just an old school tray uh, that I use from a paint palette. And probably, I don't know, four or five times a year I'll go through and, and scrub it out. But if you see, I try to keep the same colors. You know, like I only put red paint here. I only put white paint here. Black. I've got my orange over here. So... 
that is my fancy schmancy paint palette. So I've got my brush, get my paint in here. And when you're doing these, uh, these socks, d don't, I, I just tell you guys this every time, don't get all uh, nervous and, and what's the word I'm looking for? Like, don't be hard on yourself. Like, you can see there's a natural curve there in that foot. And we're just going to come in and use the width. Just use the natural width of your, um, of your paintbrush to go around here. And like I mentioned with using good paint brushes, if, if you're using a good paint brush that you take care of, it's naturally going to have a, uh, a straight edge on it. So I get a lot of people saying that uh, they have problems keeping their lines straight. And if you work with good paint brushes, you're really not going to have that problem. And honestly, it's probably not going to be a perfect line all the way around there. And you can come back um, and straighten up your line with the end. And then I like to go around the seam next. But the, with the paint brushes and the quality, that is, that's just a, an important thing to me. Because it's just like, um, I have to watch, I'm not getting paint on my shirt either. It's, I, I think about it as the paintbrush with painting these things. Here, I need to get a little bit in here. Um, it's like, try, it's like putting a dull blade on a saw. You know, you can't expect to get a good cut out of wood if if you aren't using a sharp blade. So the paint brushes, uh, they do, they, they need to be in good shape and good quality. And you can take care of your paint brushes. It's not like you need to go buy a new paint brush all the time. Uh, I was saying in the live whenever I painted um, the pumpkin, that if I'm not a believer in sticking your paint brushes in a cup of water and saying you'll clean them later because that that soaks them all the way up into this uh, metal area. The water just goes all the way up in there. Um, and then your paint brushes, they lay, you know, on the bottom of your cup of water. And so they start to open up and lose their shape. Um, so I'm I'm not a fan, like I said, of, of putting your paintbrushes in a cup of water and letting them sit there until you get to them. Um, whenever I paint, you no, know, like today, we're doing a live, so you know I'm not going to make you guys wait while I go wash brushes. But um, after I would get done painting, um, you know each color, I would go and uh, wash my paintbrush out and then I also resize the bristles with just a little bit of dish soap and basically that is just taking the uh, the soap and rubbing it after after you've washed your paint bristles um, and dab them off, dab the water out. Just take a little bit of uh, dish soap and just squeeze it into those bristles and resize. Because when you go and you buy a, a paintbrush, the bristles are stiff. And that is the sizing that the manufacturer puts in those um, puts in those bristles. So whenever uh, you know, you wash your bristles, uh, just go after it's washed and you've bought, you know, rinsed it out, just take a little bit of dish soap and just 
resize your um your bristles and your paint brushes will last longer. I'm gonna hit this with the, the hair dryer here. Again, we're just going to start up around around this natural. See, just around that natural top of the foot ankle area, and we're just letting the brush do the work. Um, I'm not trying to get uh, straight, you know, lines, even it up with the other uh, foot. If you let the paintbrush just automatically be the the tool, uh, and 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 the width, you're uh, you're gonna you're gonna get your your feet are gonna be even with each other. I didn't use to paint socks and shoes a lot on my Annie dolls, but as of, I don't know, maybe over the past year or so, I've just, that's my thing to do. I love these little Mary Jane socks and shoes. And then whenever they're all done, I'll add a button to them, but um, that I add the button after I've uh, I've coffee stained and baked her. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Shut up, Alexa. <laughs> you guys have her. Does anybody have a, 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 a? If I say Alexa, she'll probably turn on again. Um, we could be sitting just doing nothing, and she'll start talking. I've had people tell me she's a spy. And I'll ask her sometimes if she's a spy. And of course she, of course she denies it. She'll say she doesn't know anything about being a spy. How's chat going back there, honey? It's a little dead. Okay. Well, maybe not a whole lot of people in here with us today because honestly, it is a beautiful fall day here in Ohio and I would not want to be, um, I don't think I'd be spending my, my afternoon uh, inside. Watching someone paint doll feet. Yeah, inside watching someone paint doll feet. <laughs> I probably would have better things to do. But it's even sadder because I'm the one inside painting doll feet. What did you do with your day today? I painted doll feet. Yeah. But with me, personally, because I tell you guys I'm not a tech person, um, I need hubby here with me while I'm doing this stuff. Um... So he's, you know, he's only off on the weekend. So that's whenever, um, that's whenever we can get in here and do a live. Well, plus I, I have added a couple lives, um, during the week in the, e in the evening. Are you trying to watch? I think hubby is, tr he, oh, I've turned this up. Steelers are up. I think Hubby is back there on his phone watching the football game. Steelers He's not up. even paying attention to what we're doing Steelers here. Are up All right. 
I will wait to beat him until later. I won't I won't force you to watch this. That that one right there. Mm-hmm. He's back there watching the football game. Mm-hmm. Or 14 3 though. Okay, back to painting. He's letting me know what the Steelers are doing. Yeah, the Steelers are our team, which, you know. Don't don't hate on us because we love the Steelers. We love our Ben Roethlisberger. Big old Ben. Almost done here with this sock. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and oh, I you need to be paying attention back there instead of watching that game because I think I was out of camera. No, you were you were in camera, but you do need to move just a little bit. Yeah, I told you, I'm there I'm you just go. gonna go beat on him back there. He's got a job to do, and he is not doing it. Okay, we're gonna hit this with a dryer. I can see here where I just need to even this up a little bit. those got our little socks painted so we're gonna, we're gonna grab our sandpaper um i get asked asked a lot what um what grit of sandpaper to use um the fine sandpaper is probably your best bet um but medium works too but i definitely would not use the coarse sandpaper. And I can still feel that this paint's just a, a little damp, but we're still gonna go with it. I don't think, no, I, I, you know, that's a good question because I've never done that. Um, you know, I, yeah, I think you could paint the, paint the, um, the legs and everything before attaching, attaching it together. A heck that, that might even be easier. I'm going to hit this with the hair dryer again because these are still just a tad damp.
Yeah, like Hubby said, if you're doing, <clears throat> if you're like mass producing and selling your dolls, it, it, it might work out better for you, you know, if you didn't have all this body you're working with and, and, you know, paint your, um, your socks and, and your shoes and your leg stripes before you attached. But I'm also, a, uh, I'm a big believer of saying, hey, you do what works for you. Because what works for you may not work for me. And what works for me may not work for you. Seriously? It was distracting. Okay, there's a piece of fiberfill sticking up out of this leg, and he comes over and he picks it out. I'm glad you saw that while you're watching your football game. <laughs> okay, so we are now moving on to the black paint. I have a clean brush here again. Good shape brush. Um, bristles are nice and straight. And we're just gonna go ahead and load up some paint here. And I usually will start these shoes on the front. And here again, don't be hard on yourself. This is handmade stuff. Just go with it, you know? But I really believe if you use good brushes, uh, you're gonna get good results. Just go slow and take your time. Making dolls, uh, it takes practice. I mean, I do believe, like, there's some people that are just, like, way gifted with things, you know. Um, but some people aren't, and they have to work a little harder and, and practice with stuff. Everybody, I'm just, you know going here like nobody's nobody's watching I have to keep looking up to see if I'm in camera range here but see how I've given myself the top edge of that shoe that is the hard part that's it that is the hardest part and it's not even hard okay so after we get that edge we're just gonna come through and and fill in. If you cut, if you like, see here. Plus, I kind of, uh, I've got like four or five pairs of glasses that I switch in and out of, and some some are good and some aren't. Um. But yeah, after we get that, that line, we're just gonna come through here and fill in this shoe. It's real, I, mean, I, I think, you know, like I said, just from the emails I get, I think people over, um, sometimes people overthink and like, oh, I just got to get this straight line and whatnot and. It's really fairly easy. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this with the hairdryer.
go ahead and start on this other shoe. Here again, just starting in, in the front at the toe. And we're just gonna bring this line back towards the heel. Come back around the heel. And sometimes you can just like turn your foot, you know, and kind of look and see where your line should be heading. I got a hair there. Um, so you can eye up the direction your line should be going. Just kind of go through and clean up any edges, any little um, uneven places that you see. That side looks good. So we're just going to come through. And just fill in. The rest of the shoe here. Oopsie, I got a little, got a little ahead of myself. But we're not gonna have a, we're not gonna have a cow about that. We're just gonna go through and just even it up. But I, I got a little fast and went over my line. But like I said, just go, go back through and just even that out. No biggie. Hey, Miss Kimmy, I just happened to look up at the comments and there you were. How are you today, Miss Kimmy? The comments go by so fast, I, I don't catch them, but I happened to look up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dry this shoe. Those aren't perfectly dry, but I don't like you guys um, having to wait around here a long time for um, 
I am going to ask, uh, this is the brush I'm going to use. Honey, I am going to ask you whenever I'm, no, I'm, you're good right now. Whenever I am done with this brush for this color, mm -hmm. can I get you to wash this? Because this is the same brush I use for the stripes. Yeah. Okay. So, we now have the bottoms of the shoes painted on our feet. Okay. For that, um, for the shoes, I used this brush. And for that, that stripe across the top, the strap on the shoe, I'm going to go with a smaller brush. Okay. Because I, I don't want that strap to be super wide. So I'm just going to get a little bit more black paint here. where you guys can see me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dip, dip my paint or dip my brush into the paint. And I just want you guys to be able to see me. I, I will start up here at the top, okay? And I just, I just do like a little, a little section there at the top, all right? So then, I'll just bring that down to the other side. This is where I tell you, if you the, the better your paintbrush is, the better quality, the easier this is going to be. Okay? So then I just go to the other side, and I just bring, just bring that other leg stripe over then I I will I will go back and just you want know I mean fill in that line uh, straighten it up I'm just gonna hit this with the hair dryer. So again, I'm, I'm just going to start here on the top of the foot. Just give myself a little, a little, you know, it's like a starting point, a little, little base uh, place there to work from. So I'm just come back and finish this line down into the shoe. And then we're gonna come over here and bring this other line down. All right, and then go through, and if you see any edges that need cleaned up, or if you see any places where the paint just didn't quite cover, just go ahead and touch those up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and dry these, and I'm going to ask Hubby if he will wash this brush for me. I sure will. Thank you. You can't wash that too, isn't it?
our socks and our shoes painted. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to sand um, these shoes. Uh, the, the bottom is just, it's pretty basic, you know? And we're not like, we're not sanding this to get paint off. We are sanding this just to kind of scuff it up a little bit and to make it look primitive. And if you'll notice, I am sanding only on the black. I'm, I'm lightly getting that edge, lightly getting that edge and just kind of pulling down. I'll do that all the way around, okay? And then we'll do scuff up the bottom. And it is, it's just scuffing. We, we don't want um, to sand this paint, paint off. You know, for all of you guys, you know, who do the primitive crafts the same as, you know, we do, um, things are supposed to look old and worn. So that's just what we're trying to do here. Um, I, this is the one I just sanded up a little bit. Just take a piece, you know, a clean paper towel and just kind of get the dust off of that, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the, and right now we're just doing the bottoms, okay? So just take your sandpaper and just kind of scuff. And we're not, we're not sanding up onto that white. Um, and the reason for that is we're sanding. Uh, there is paint, you know, we're, we're sanding black paint. And now that dust is on, it's on your shoe here. Um, if we were to be sanding up, you know, if we were to come into this black paint and sand up, all that black paint would run up onto your white. And now your your little socks aren't white anymore. They're, they're gonna have, they would have a, a, a gray dinge uh, coming up. So, that's why we're coming to this edge and sanding down. Okay, so we come back with our paper towel and we're just gonna wipe off that dust. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to those straps and I'm gonna take my sandpaper and just Sand inside those straps. Trying not to move over into that white. And uh, again, I don't know if, if you know if you're just joining us. We were ta I was talking about sandpaper earlier. And, and fine grit sandpaper is probably your, I mean, it's probably the best bet. Um, I'm using medium right now because I think that's the only thing they had last time I went to go s to buy sandpaper. But definitely do not use coarse sandpaper because you are going to, uh, you're going to wind up sand in a hole. Through your uh, through your fabric, and you don't want that. So here again, we're just sanding the strap on the other foot, and staying within that black line, so we're not spreading that black dust everywhere. So we're just going to come back with our paper towel, and we're just going to wipe wipe those off, All right? So there you have the uh, the sanded shoes now. Now, after you would coffee stain these, and, you know, my personal preference is, is um, you would add the button. If you put buttons on, you would add the button uh, to the outside uh, 
of the feet. Okay, so those are the, sh the socks and the uh, the socks and the Mary Jane shoes. So now we are going to move on to the leg stripes. And here, this is the brush I'm gonna use for the leg stripes. Um, I don't like using wide brushes for leg stripes. Um, I would rather uh, build them up than having a brush that's too big and you can't um, make them smaller. So, uh, I've got this is folk art. Uh, this is folk art paint, and it is uh, barn red. The question I get is, you know, what are my favorite paints? And I I tell you guys, I don't have favorite paints. I have favorite colors. Um, red to get a primitive red is uh, that's a toughie. So this, this particular one, the Folk Art Barn Red, is the red I use because it is the, uh, it is the most primitive red that I think that you can find. I'm trying to get this into my... Okay. See that this one, uh, this one is is a, is a, is a technique as well as painting, and I'm I'm gonna. I hope you guys can see me. Um, I'm lightly coming into the paint here. All right. See, I'm lightly pulling on that. The leg stripes. You do not want your paintbrush loaded with paint. You just don't. You're gonna have a mess. Okay. So I'm just coming in here and lightly pulling and just getting my paintbrush. Um, see, it's it's not loaded. Just just need a little bit, okay? And leg stripes are light touch. So I'm gonna come over here. Thank you. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm just gonna come over here and just it's a light touch. Just, can you guys, am I on camera? Mm -hmm. You guys see me? All right. All right. So we're going to come back over here and just do the same thing. You know, pull, pull some of that paint in. Um, and get some paint on your brush, but you just, you don't want a, um, you don't want a brush heavily loaded with paint for these leg stripes. And this is an, another one where I say the quality of the brush is so important because if you have a brush that um, just is old and ratty and not holding its shape, you are not going to get good lines with these leg stripes. And usually, like, I'm looking at this. Usually I can tell. It looks like I'll probably be able to get three leg stripes out of that. So just eye it up. I don't have quite enough paint in there, so I'm going to go dip back in the paint and grab some. Grab just a little bit more paint. And I just, I do one side at a time. And like, see how I'm doing the sweeping motion? I can do that because I don't have a ton of paint uh, loaded in my brush. So that gives me, um, that gives me the freedom of coming over here and and being able to uh, adjust the pressure of of how you know of my brush and how hard I'm pushing. And if you get your leg stripes 
good. Like a lot of times in my patterns, I'll tell you to lightly sand the leg stripes. Um, if you've if you've if you've done this right, I'm not. I shouldn't say right. If if you don't always have to to sand your leg stripes is what I'm saying. If you have put the leg stripes on really heavy, you probably are going to need to sand. But like these, I won't need to sand these. Um, because you know they're on there fairly light. Okay. Just go through on the other one. And we're going to do the same thing. Just start out light. Because you can, you can always, always, always add more paint. Um, but you cannot take, you cannot take it away. So it's always better to go light. And this does. This is going to take a little bit of practice. You may not get this on on the first try, um, especially if you're just brand new to this. But if you've been doing crafts for a long time. Um, I think this is, this is something to, um, that you just get the hang of real fast. Am I still on camera? Yep. Good to go. And I, I didn't measure, you know, uh, a certain area between the, the leg stripes. I'm just eyeing this up. Okay, I'm going to hit these with the dryer real quick. Um, my paintbrushes are rolling around. That was how we do the uh, the socks, the shoes, and the leg stripes. And if if we were continuing it on, I would move on to the face. But today we're just doing that. Um, again, uh, we have that pumpkin giveaway. Um, the drawing is tonight at 7. If you have not signed up for that yet, there is a post, um, several uh, posts below the video that's going on right now. And you will find a picture of this pumpkin. We made this pumpkin uh, during one of our lives this past week. And we are giving it away free to, to one of you guys that comes and um, and, and joins our page and, and uh, participates uh, in our lives and uh, likes our page uh, but you need to go down to that post and it's on that post it says write me in the comments so if you haven't done so already just go ahead down there and type in me and we will uh, go ahead and add your name to the drawing and that drawing is tonight live at seven okay um, I'm just gonna look here real quick and see if there's any questions that I can see? No more Orion questions. Okay. Um, as always, we, we thank you so much for coming and joining us. Um, 
we enjoy doing these videos for you. Uh, if you haven't already liked our page, please, you know, please go ahead and like our page. And uh, if you have crafty friends that you think would enjoy our, our lives, um, you know, go ahead and share the, the link to our Facebook page so your friends can, can like our page. And we'd also appreciate it if you would uh, sprinkle sprinkle this video. Sprinkle in the face next week. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> He's already talking about what we're doing next week. I'm like, I don't know what we're doing this week yet. Yeah. Maybe 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 we will move on. Does that sound like a plan? Maybe we will move on next week and we will put her her face on um next week. Um and we've been having pretty Pretty good luck with our time schedule as far as having uh, these live videos Sundays, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so, yeah, that's probably what we'll do is just go ahead and move on with this doll and we will do her face next week. Uh, is that it, honey? That's it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you're interested in our patterns, uh, you can find them at www.chestnutjunction.com. And also in our Etsy shop, www.etsy.com uh, slash shop slash chestnut junction. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Love ya. Bye-bye.